Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Keep It Real. This is Begin Youth, episode number four. Starting this episode with, again, another flashback. This time we're centered around Juan. He's secretly shady, hiding in like the corner, and he's talking to someone on the phone. We don't know who, but he gets a picture of Saiyan on his phone, and this is before they met or know, knew each other, but he basically has to approach him. He spots him, and he basically blocks Saiyan from going to wherever he had to go. He stalled Saiyan for whatever time, and then he eventually left, and as Juan is leaving, the house explodes. And we still don't have any answers. If anything, this episode has just brought up so much more questions. Yeah, this episode, it pretty much led you to a, a led you to a big cliffhanger. Yep. Uh, every little point into the story, because they want to, it's a good trick. To read. It's a good way to lead to the next four more episodes. The next coming four out episodes next coming up next week, so they're trying to grasp you now, and it, it, it works because yeah. they it, it makes it work. I need to know what happens. We don't know next. what's going on. This episode pretty much it takes place at the same time as the end of the last episode. You see uh, Haru get uh, Haru and leaving, yeah. and ha Hosu. Hosu chasing him, and then he leaves the five uh, the other boys uh, looking and says, "What's going on?" And at the same time. Juwan. Juwan, sorry. Juwan sees his father coming and he goes, Dad! He runs up to him and his father just slaps the crap out of him because he's drunk again. And obviously it's embarrassing to him that he takes off. In the last episode, we forgot to mention this, but the principal told Juan to look over these orchids that he had in his office. But the real reason why he had him to look over them was because he was trying to slip in the test answers for the final. Juan decides that he's not going to do it, and he basically tells the principal no, and the principal ends up calling his dad to, like, basically tattle on him and pressure him, pressure Juan into actually accepting the answers, which it actually works. During the test, Juan yeah. uses the answer sheet, and of course you can tell he doesn't feel great about it, but he still ends up doing it. Her story continues right after last episode. He's staying at home after being sick. But in this one, he got called, he called his mother, he said, hey, how's my brother doing? And then the mother said, oh, he's in the shower. And then when her walked away, he overheard his grandmother say, oh, it's so sad to hear that Haru's older brother is ashamed to have Haru as his brother because he's mentally ill. So Haru finally writes a angry email to him to which the brother responds, like, yeah. basically... Yeah, I am ashamed of you. Yeah, I am. Why, 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 why would anyone want to be? Uh, another thing about this episode, they, they push it, it's, it came from the last episode as well. San is trying to find out more information about his mother. And he's trying to get any type of information he can because he, he, he doesn't know anything about his mother. And the only clue that he has is that he has a picture of his mom in the scholarship foundation for the school. So he's basically asking anyone who is somewhat related to the Scholarship Foundation if they know anything about it. Basically, uh, Sian is going around trying to figure out more information for, about his mom. He goes to actually ask Juan, said that, is it, didn't your father go, you know, did your father attend school with my mom and part of the scholarship program? And Juan, he knows nothing. No, he doesn't he know anything. No he, he goes, really? He barely <laughs> talks yeah. to his father. Yeah, exactly. He has so, no idea. He has no idea. So, uh, and he goes back to the principal and says, I'll, "If you better tell me now, there was a. I know there was an incident in school. Something happened. I know you're hiding it. If you're not going to tell me, I'm going to go to the newspapers. I'm going to go. I'm going to report you. I'm going to make sure this story comes out." Kind of hard. He doesn't even know what happened in this. Yeah. But he was trying to blackmail him to see what happens. After a bit, they all come together again to hang out, all all seven of them, and they decide, oh, let's play a game of soccer to see who gets to pay for food, because that's what BTS does too. We play games to decide who pays or who cleans up, all that stuff. They play, and Juwon is being goalie. Juan ends up kicking the ball, and Juwon ends up getting hit in the right ear, and yes, he ends yes. up like dropping, and his ears start ringing, and then he can't hear properly, and he's panicking. They end up bringing Juan to an ear doctor, and they say that his right ear was just like a temporary thing from the shock, but his left ear, which wasn't hit, but he still couldn't hear out of it, they were like, why? And the doctor ends up saying that 
he's actually been deaf in that ear for a while, and it's due to continuous blunt force to, like, that mm-hmm. side of his trauma. head. Trauma. Trauma to his head. They put together, oh, earlier today, Juan's father came and hit him on the left side, so this must have been not just a first-time thing. It's been happening for a while, and it's been leading it's been going on for so long that he's deaf in his left ear now so anyway after after the doctor they all gather back in uh dogan's container and juan basically apologizes and says he's sorry and juan thinks juan is pitying him and they their tension that was like from the first episode sort of comes back sort of resolved resolved juan just basically goes to the point where and says that he even he doesn't want anyone to be at fault for this. He doesn't, because he doesn't hate Juan. He doesn't hate his father, even though he knows and is aware that his father did do this to him. He still wants to stay by his father's side. And even though at first he planned on like moving out after finding all this stuff, he still goes back to his father. He feels bad for his father. He feels bad if he leaves because no one's going to be with his father. We had this like one moment where they just finished the exam and they're like, okay, we're on vacation, let's celebrate and go to the beach. Yeah, very big change in tone, I guess, compared to how the rest of the episode Yeah, the tone was, of this, the, uh, this episode was pretty... It was it's pretty, getting dark. pretty dark. Only, it's getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark, which we expected. We expected yeah. it to suddenly switch, yeah. and it, it did. It did, it's um, like dark. It's good balance, because the whole, like I said, most of the episode was like, where are they going with this? There's a mystery here. No answers. Yeah. Not, no answer to anything. So you're left with like, this but is going to be a kind of depressing episode. Yeah. Also, they have the beach hanging out like it, being chaotic, like BTS would. But anyhow, at the end of the episode, Haru does give in and go to the mental hospital with his mom. Where he gets another big attack. Where he gets a big attack and he sees a patient at the other end of the hall. End of the episode, uh, CN is visited by his father and the principal at the house. Let me tell you, the principal gets around. He's all over this episode. Yeah. He was everywhere. I'm like, what is this guy? He's... The principal meets up with the father and Sin in that in her house, and he tells a story of what happened to his mother. What the principal told Sin and his father was that his mom was very nice and pretty, and she attracted the attention of a lot of the guys. And the one guy that she he was fell interested in, in yeah. supposedly was Juan's Juan's father. father. Well, and then but essentially she accused um, Juan's father of raping her. We don't true. know if it's true or not, but that is what he told uh, Saiyan and his dad and basically how he didn't, the principal did not want this to come out at all mm-hmm. because he knew Saiyan and Juan were becoming mm-hmm. friends and he knew that was going to create some issues. See, that's why I have an issue with that story because when he looked at Saiyan in the, in the, the kitchen, I guess, kitchen table. His look on his face, like, did he buy it? Did he buy it? The, it was you can so never weird. trust the principal. You I don't can't trust him. Well, you can't trust him. You can't. The fact that it's also he could use this saying that, you know, he wants so to keep the good side yeah, of the assembly yeah, men, keep but... Juan and San apart. Don't let them be friends. Which is what the assemblyman wants. This exactly, and this what the principal just did. We'll just t- tear him apart. Yep. But I don't know. Seeing his face, it looks like he, he has some apprehension. He still looks like this guy's full of crap. Yeah. No, clearly. But we'll see what happens in the next episode. But we don't know. But that, that that's a, like a killer cliffhanger. You're like they. Well, that's not even the cliffhanger. That's that's cliffhanger even number one. one. We have yeah. one more at the very end. And they were leaving the beach. They they didn't find it, but the camera, the camera pans has, to a yeah. body. Actually, not really. Bo- we don't see the body. We see the arm of a body, and on the hand of that, it's like arm, a burn mark. Yeah, it's like a burn mark of the number seven. It's uh, not. I don't think it's supposed to look like the number seven, but to it's us, hinted. it looks it like, looks like seven. seven. And that number seven is being pushed into your. You know, like what's that mean? So many questions. So many like this episode, as we said earlier, definitely makes me want to tune in to the next four because. There's just so many things that have been left unanswered. There is no answers in this episode. If anything, just, they, I've got more yeah. questions. There's more questions and more questions with if every anything. single character. Every single character, they, there's a mystery with every character. Yeah. I feel like there's good. so much mystery. Yeah, it's really it's good. a good thing because it's driving you to go on to the next episode. And it's killer because yeah. it's not coming out for the next couple of <laughs> We have a I know. few days in I'm between like, this. I'm like, ah, how do I wait? So it's... Uh, 
like I was saying, each episode for TV shows or TV series to make it uh, to be done well, you have to have intrigue between episode one, two, three, four, and makes you want to keep on going. This one has it and got you, and if you are not pulled in by now, or you'll never be, oh my god, you have so many unanswered questions, you're gonna need to watch five. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to go down below in the comments and tell us your theories on what you think is gonna happen next, and what you thought about episode four. While you're there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it with others. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day.